Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to do text formatting here inside of Minecraft. I have the different color text up here on the splash text, different color right here in the button. Here's a bold text right down here. Down here is an underline. You can do all this stuff, even mix and match these things, and you can do a lot more. And I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. Now I've done some other customizations here as well. I have a custom panorama in the background. I'll put a link for that in the description along with my custom title up here. I'll put a link for that one and the buttons link for that one as well. So this time we're doing this custom text color and text formatting. Now the first thing we need to do is to set up a place to build our texture pack in. So I'll switch over to the desktop for that. Let me just close this down. And here we go. I just made a folder on my hard drive. I called it pack, put it on my C drive. And I also have my custom pack PNG right here. This is just a 128 by 128 square PNG image. That's all it is. I use the same image in here that I used for my custom totem of undying. I'll put that link as well in the description if you want to find out how you can do your own little kind of mini character like that. Now there's a few things we need in here. We need to have a couple of files, some folders. And the first one that we need is the pack.mc meta file that used to be included in the resource pack, but no longer is. So I'm just putting those up on my website. Let me bring that website up here. And it's right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can get right to this page. And if you scroll down, just download the one that you need for the version of Minecraft that you're playing. Right now, I'm in 120.5. This just came out. That's pack format 32. These are all zip files. So click on the link and then just download this into your working folder. Choose save. Okay, we've got that one. Let's go back to our working folder. There it is. I'll be right clicking on this and open a new window and just grab that pack MC Meta and drag it over here. There you go. You can then close that down. You can also get rid of this if you want to. I'll just right click and let's just trash that. So here's our pack MC Meta. Next we need to have some folders and to find the right folders and the files that we need, we have to get the vanilla resource pack. And for that, let's go up here to the launcher. Here, a Minecraft launcher. I'm in the Java edition, as you can see right over here. Go up here where it says installations. Click on that. Latest release in the folder right there. Click on that folder. That brings up the Minecraft folder here. Scroll down and you'll find versions right there. Open versions up. And then you want your version that you're working in. Right now I am in 125 right here is 120.5. Ignore these RC things, all the pre things. You just want the one that's just the number. Open that up and you should see two files. If you only see one, it's going to be the JSON. And that means that you haven't played the current version yet. So just go ahead, open the game, get it to the menu screen, close it down again. It's right before the menu screen loads that they download the jar file. If you don't see the .jar or .json, then go up to view. And right down here, I am currently in Windows 11. So it's right here, show and find them extensions. If you're in Windows 10, just go up to the view tab. And over on the right hand side, you'll see a checkbox for find them extensions. You'll then see that dot jar. Okay, let's bring this window back up again. And I'm just going to take this one, right drag it over here and copy. Or you could do copy and paste, whatever you like. So you need to have this over here. Let's get this out of the way. Now click into the name here. Once, wait a beat, click a second time. You can then type in here backspace over jar and change that to zip. Hit the enter key, choose yes. It's now a zip folder. It always was a zip folder. It was just named dot jar. Now right click on this, open a new window. There we go. And you'll find a few things in here. Now, if you want to just use the standard vanilla grass block thing for your pack PNG, that's right here. Just scroll way down near the bottom and it's right there. That's the standard grass block. So if you want that, that's where that is. Okay, back at the top. So go to assets, go into Minecraft, and you see a couple of folders in here. We have the Lang folder and the texts folder. We need these two folders, but we need them in the right location. And this and this assets Minecraft. So let's make those two folders. Go over here to your working folder, make a new folder. First one is assets. Go inside of assets and new folder. This one's Minecraft. Go inside of Minecraft, and those two folders from the zip file go right inside here. I'll just drag the Lang in like that. Let's also just drag the text in. There we go. That's all we need. So we're done now with that vanilla resource pack. I'll close that down. Now you can keep this if you want to. Not a bad idea. You may need this for other future customization things. So just hang on to that one. We're all done with that though for this video. Go to Assets, Minecraft. In the language, you'll find the language file right here. Whatever language you're using should be showing up right here. If you don't see your language in here, you need to edit the right file. So I'm in the US. If you're in Canada, you need to have the Canada file. If you're in the UK, you need the UK file. If you're not seeing that, I'll put a link to a different video I did about how to find those other language files. Okay, let's come back out again. 
go into texts. Now all we need in here is the splashes text. So you can delete these other ones. Hit the delete key, get rid of that, delete and delete. And that's all we need here. Okay, let's now go back to the length field. We'll do this one first. Here is where you're going to be changing all those colors. Let's just make this say large icon. Easy to see that. Now I like editing these things in Notepad++. It works great. And it's a free download. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Here we go. Now I need to find the menu. So go up to search and find, do a search for game menu. Find next. And that gets us right down to the right location. We can close that down. So all the game menu stuff is right in here. That's everything. The ones we care about are the ones that are showing on the menu. And that's multiplayer, Minecraft Realms, options, it's right there. And single player is right down here. Those are the ones that we need. Now to change these things or change the color or change the formatting, all you have to do is put a special code in front of the name, that right there. Let me bring up a graphic for this. You can see how this is done. Here we go. There are 16 different colors that you can use, going from black all the way down to white, including dark blue. Here's gold. Here's aqua, light purple. All these different colors on the right-hand side are different formatting. Bold, strike through, underline, italic, and reset. Obfuscator is kind of weird. It puts in just a bunch of random characters, and they're constantly changing. Really weird kind of animated thing. You can't read it, and that's the whole idea behind that one. We'll do things that are actually useful in here. Now, if we're changing the lettering on the text, one thing to keep in mind is that the text lettering has a shadow behind it. So if you made the letters black, you'd have black with a black shadow, and it'd be really hard to read. Same thing for the dark blue, dark red. Those are really hard to read. So go with the lighter colors for your text, and it's going to look a lot better. We'll start off with gold here. This is this kind of really strange symbol and six. You get this strange symbol by holding down the Alt key and on your keypad, type in 0167, and that gives you that symbol. Let's go ahead, I'll do that right here for multiplayer. And what we want there is six. So I'll hold the Alt key down, type in 0167. That puts in that strange symbol and then the number six. And that is going to be that gold color. And if you want this in bold, you can also do that as well. That's up here, that's that strange symbol and the L. Again, Alt 0167 and type in an L. That's now going to be gold, bold, and it'll say multiplayer. Let's do another one of these. Let's come down to Minecraft Realms. Let's make this one green. Look over here. Green is A. So that symbol again, 0167 A. That's going to be green. Let's underline this one. And that's that strange symbol again, 0167 with the Alt key held down. And the letter for that one is N. That's underline. Now you don't have to use both. You can do just the color or just the formatting or a combination of those, that's fine. Now, you can't do two different colors. It's not going to work half. You only use just one color. So you can use one color, and you can use one formatting. And as we see here, we can do different ones for different words in the same setting. Okay, that's going to take care of that part of it. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll do just those two lines. We'll save that and close that down. And that takes care of the button text. Let's now take care of that splash text. And that's a different file. Let me bring my working folder back up again. It's back out of here. Go into Texts. That's the Splashes text. This has a lot of lines in it. If you want to change your lines, now's the time to do it. I have a different video about how to do that. I'm going to open this up in my standard editor. That's in Notepad++. I'm going to right-click here. It's open with Notepad++. There we go. Now to change a line of text in here, it's just like with the lang file. You put the code right in front of the line, and it's Alt-0167. If you don't want to be typing that in all the time, I'll just put this in the description. Go ahead and just copy that from there. This is going to be a strange symbol and D. No space in there. Let's just do the first six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll lose all the rest of this stuff just to save us time here in this video, but I'll be here for an hour doing that. Okay, let's right click and copy, and we'll paste this in on each of these lines. There we go. This will be that light purple. Now, one last thing on this text file. We need to make sure that this is in the ANSI formatting. Let's go up here to encoding, and it should say ANSI. If it doesn't, come down and convert to ANSI. Same thing if you're over in Notepad. At the bottom, you can choose what encoding it is. Make sure that it is set to ANSI. Double check that. There we go. Okay, that's correct. Otherwise, this won't work. So make sure you do make that change. Okay, save that. That's all set to go. We can now close this down, and we're all set to build our resource pack. We need the assets folder. Hold the control key down, want that pack MC meta and your pack PNG. 
right click and let's compress to zip file. Let's just give it a name. I'll call it custom text colors and we're set to go. We now need to get this over into the game. So let's go back over into the launcher, back list release, hit that folder icon right here. Go to our Minecraft folder. This time come down to resource packs right here. Go inside of resource packs and we'll put our file right here. So let's take it and drag it in like that. There we go. That's all set to go. Now all we need to do is to load the game and activate that pack. Let's just get this out of the way. Get that out of the way and click on play and let Minecraft load up. There we go. Now come down to options, resource packs. Now all these that are red, these are all working a couple of days ago because this was set for 120.4. I need to update these for 120.5. The next video I do tomorrow will be how to do that in case you're curious. Okay, go over here to the custom text colors, click on that. At the top right there, looks good. Choose done. And then done again. And there we go. There's our custom color in here for multiplayer and it's also in bold. There's a custom color for Minecraft Realms and that one's underlined. So you can see it's very easy to come in and change those colors. And also we've changed the color up here on that splash text. So pretty easy to do if you know the tricks. Now one thing I have noticed on doing this a few times that sometimes the color doesn't change up here on the splash text. What works for me though is to get everything set up properly and then close the game down, close the launcher down, reopen the launcher and then relaunch the game and that seems to work. So if you're still seeing the original yellow, try just relaunching the launcher first before launching your game and that should solve that. If you had fun with this particular video, make sure you hit that like button. That really does help out my channel a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I'll be doing a lot more customization videos here and pretty soon I'll start a new series on using Blockbench to make your own characters inside of the game and your own mobs inside of the game. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that one. And I'll see you next time.